Hi guys, welcome back. I'm here because I hit 100,000 subscribers and I didn't really know what to do with myself other than make a video. I'm just in shock, but I'm also like not at all. Like there's a couple, there's a bunch of things running through my mind. One second I'm like, well, I knew I would hit it. I started the channel being like, I know that I'm gonna grow and I, my goal is a million, you know what I mean? Like I never for one second will say to you, did I think I'd get here and be like, mm -mm. Cause I fucking knew it. Cause I, I had faith in my channel and I had faith in myself and I saw the people that gravitated towards it and I was so happy to have such a cool community, you know? So I, I even when I hit a million, if someone says like, did you ever think you'd hit a million? I'd be like, yeah, the fuck yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come across as arrogant. I just, in my, in my mind, it's just kind of like, 100K is a milestone and it's so important to me and so fucking amazing. But it's also like, I knew I did it, you know? So I'm just kind of like, whoa, like I, I really did do it and I'm just so, happy about that. There's so many things I want to say. Um, fucking thank you, first of all. Like, thank you so much that like 100,000 people, like you guys all press subscribe. Like, what? <laughs> I, it's just crazy. Like, it's, it's a lot of fucking people. Like, it's a lot of people. Like, sometimes I think, oh, okay, well, you know, Ace Family has like 100,000 million, <laughs> like 15 million, and they gain like 100,000 a day. And then I'm like, oh, it's really not that many people in the grand scheme of things. But then when you really look at the number, you're like, whoa, like, that's a lot of people. And I'm just so proud of myself. And I'm so happy to have you guys be a part of this with me. Like, there's some people that have literally been around since, like, two subscribers. And they're still subscribed. Maybe some of them don't <laughs> still keep up with my stuff. But some of you do. I could name, like, three people that have been around since before I hit 100 subscribers and still comment on my stuff daily. And I'm just like... I can't believe, I can't believe you stuck with me. Like, that's just so amazing. And like, people that have been here since 15K, people that have been here since 50K, like, I am so grateful. Like, I'm not just grateful for those people, I'm grateful for fucking everybody. Even the 100,000th, even the 100,000th person to hit subscribe. They probably didn't even realize there were the 100,000. They probably just saw my video and were like, oh, cool, subscribe, you know? But it's like, I'm still grateful for that one person that subscribed yesterday or today. And it's like crazy that people actually like really fuck with my videos <laughs> like thank you i don't know um i'm so happy i'm so happy i don't even know how to express it like i'm just like i just i don't know i have food on the way i'm really excited for that um i thought i'd just throw that out there i'm looking at the timer on the screen there it's here in seven minutes i did want to make this a short video because i don't want to ramble too much because yeah i tend to get emotional sometimes um, I'm an Aquarius, you know, we don't get in our feelings often, but when we do, it really means something. So I'm just really grateful and really, really happy because I, I can't believe I hit 100,000. Like, I mean, I can, but I can't. This is what? Thank you. <laughs> in honor of 100,000 subscribers, I did want to share something with you guys that is very personal. I wrote this two years ago, two and a half. I don't know when I wrote it. It's pretty much a letter to my future self. I do this kind of thing. It's really weird. I make videos to watch later on in life. I make notes to read later in life and I write myself letters. This is the first time I've ever looked at this letter since I wrote it and I wrote this a couple years ago like I said and I told myself I would read this when I hit a milestone. So I don't know if I, the, my milestone was 100,000 or 500,000 or a million but I know that the milestone was something big and I was like okay I'm gonna write this out when I start my YouTube journey and I'm gonna read it when I hit a certain milestone. Anyways I just really wanted to share this letter with you. It's probably gonna be super personal. I, I don't think I meant to share it online. I think I just meant to read it myself but I'm going to share it because I don't know, I want to. So I emailed this to myself, so I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. Um, before I do that, my food's actually two minutes away. Tracker jumped. So I'm just gonna go grab my food and I'll be right, right back. <laughs> I just got my food, I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, we're back to reading this letter. Oh, I'm so excited to read it. I've been wanting to read this for so long. Um, excited and nervous, cause like what if it's like a little bit too emotional and I was not prepared to read this like to people, so. Oh my god, I'm about to read it. What if I cry? Letter to my future self, it says. I'm beginning to truly realize that everything really does happen for a reason. Relationships come to an end, not just romantic. Friendships as well. You get fired from your job. Your school of choice doesn't accept you. Hell, no school accepted you. <laughs> you spent $400 on applications just to get a no. But were you really ready? You told yourself you were, you told everyone you were, and you know what, I'm about to change the perspective to first person. I wasn't ready. I really believed that I was, but I wasn't, and I'm not. 
If I really was ready, I would have completed my York U application. I would have put more time into my Ryerson portfolio. I would have figured out summer school earlier, but I didn't. It seems so fucked up. My subconscious, of course, knew it before I did, but it's the truth. I wanted to quit my job. God knows that I wasn't going to, in fear of disappointing my parents and myself. So I got fired. God knew, the universe knew, it just happened. And I'm not mad or sad at any of it. And I was, but I really have come to realize that shit fucking happens. <laughs> Life just felt so wrong. I was losing my friends, losing touch with the guy that I liked, family drama, not accepted to university, fired from my job, but I'm slowly learning to deal with things. It's hard because I have some shitty days, some really, really shitty days. I think I've cried every day this week. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm totally gonna fucking cry. Um, Cause I just, I remember the mind state that I was at in that time of my life. I was so depressed, you know, I was so depressed. I had no friends. I literally didn't talk to anybody. I had like Monica, of course, and Atife, but I just didn't talk to them as much. Like I was very isolated because I was going through a lot of shit. Um, I think I've cried every day this week. Um, it's possible. Wow, this is strictly going to be a post about YouTube, but I got all deep in shit being the Aquarius that I am. Funny that I said that because I had I have, was not posting Zodiac content at that time. Content at that time. Anyways, why I wrote this was to say that everything happens for a reason. Look at this, because of all this shit happening, I no longer have that full-time job to commit to or a full-time school schedule. That leaves me with no time to do anything, not involving school, and I have no friends to see whenever I'm off. I have time, so much of it, and I found something that I love to do with that time, and that's to create, to talk about shit that I love, to teach things I know, to do random things in front of the camera, then edit. There's nothing more that I love right now. It's the one thing that's making me happy because things feel so shitty. But the way that everything worked out is that I've had time to create and enjoy this. Since this all went down, I have gone up 400 subscribers in two months. What? It's not that much, but man, it feels like a lot. I just picture me on stage knowing that there are 400 people there just for me, and that's fucking cool. So I had 400 subscribers at this time. It's about the same thing as 400 people clicking that button willingly because they want to see what you come out with next. It makes me feel so good. Oh, I'm so happy about 400 subscribers. That's so cute, I love that. I remember how happy I was. I jumped up fast. I jumped up fast in two months. So to me, that felt fast. Um, it makes me want to work harder because I know I can do this. I know I will make it big and hopefully soon. And it will happen out of nowhere, maybe overnight. I literally just feel it. It's like, I'm way too sure of myself. And I will read this letter and it will remind me that shit happens for a reason. Because had all that shitty stuff not happened to me, I would have never taken this channel seriously or even started it. I would have never put the time in. And I want to read this and be like, damn, look where I am now. I remember one time an interviewer asked Jay Cole, did you know you would be big and successful? And he said, yeah, there's no way he wouldn't. He straight up just said he didn't doubt it. Basically, it was just a matter of when because he knew it would happen. And that's such a big part of why I admire him so much, his confidence. He's so sure of himself and it reminded me of myself. I know I will make it big on YouTube eventually. And you know what? I think it will bring me so many other opportunities. And if someone asks me if I saw this coming as much as I want to be modest and humble, I will straight, straight up say, yeah, I did see it coming. And maybe I sound arrogant. <laughs> or like an asshole, but honestly, it's just confidence. And being confident in myself as well as my content is what got people to watch me. I'm proud of myself, and to be honest, I'll probably do a video just reading this letter, and it'll be super cheesy and sappy, and I may tear up, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I can't wait. And then it just says, dash moi. And the date here is Wednesday, September 21st, 2016 at 2.25 a.m. I put that at the end, because I mean, it seems like I know myself pretty fucking well. <laughs> um, I guess I wrote it with the intent of sharing it on YouTube. Um, I didn't mention the milestone that I wanted to be at, but I did mention that I wanted to get big. Um, it's just crazy reading that. Like, I just, I remember vividly, like, jumping up to 400, to 800, to 1,000. When I hit 1,000, I fucking cried. I was so happy. really happy. I'm very happy that I hit it and I'm very proud of myself and I can't wait to see where I go. I can't wait to see what's to come. I'm very grateful for all of you. I'm so fucking grateful. Um, 
I don't know what else to say. I'm just a fucking, just, I have 100,000 subscribers. Like that's, that's, oh my God. Okay. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I love you guys so much. I never say that. I don't know why. It's unintentional. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be here. I'm like, oh, you know, that's happy. I, I fucking love you guys. I fucking love you guys. I love you guys. Like, I don't know. Watch my mukbang. I'm about to film a mukbang eating Thai food. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, bye. <laughs>